MTD CNC are in Basildon today. We're at WCM. Now we've come here to look at the Herco machines that they have installed. They have been a Herco user for many years, but it's not just an ordinary Herco user. Stefan, 22 new Herco machines. What on earth do you do here at WCM to, to warrant the purchase of such a quantity of uh, machine tools? Yeah, it's a big, big uh, volume of machines. Um, we took them on over a progressive period, over a year, um, kind of leading to what you can see here today. So 22 machines, three and five axis, all with Herco, um, and we use them across all of our customers. So what, what do you make? What will you be making on these machines? So any interior exterior parts, so anything visible, pretty much decorative pieces we tend to do, things with... Um, and this is all in the car, automotive? Yeah, all vehicle uh, related, all automotive related. Uh, what, how did you go about selecting the, the style of machines you got? And was that an influencer in your decision? Because Herco do offer a very vast range of products, don't they? Yeah, so when we took on some of the new projects we've looked at in the last kind of six to 12 months leading to the machines we've got, all the decisions on the machines were based on the, the projects we had in mind. So Herco have been really supportive in looking at analyzing the actual work we're bringing in with our CNC team and then deciding, okay, this is machine best suited for that project and that application. Our working relationship with Herco is second to none at the minute. Um, obviously, investing this much money, you wouldn't expect anything else. Um, Herco are on site whenever we need them. Um, we do get little problems, little niggles, um, but we find that the Herco machines have less of those than other machines that we've used in the past. So I look after a little bit of project analysis, so as the parts come in, I decide what machines they go on, uh, time it will take to do them, fixturing, uh, I do the programming and the proving out as well. I know you, you watch our channel uh, and you picked out a couple of um, points about the Herco machines that we've not mentioned on our channel before that might be of interest to our viewers. Um, excite them with those uh, features. Okay, so just two to name. There, there's an interrupt feature whereupon whilst you're working, mid-program you can hit an interrupt button, the, the head will move away, spindle stops, you can jog the bed forward and get in the machine to measure a bore, um, inspect it, clear swarf, um, change a tool, things like that, and it's very simple by pressing auto and cycle start, brings the machine back to its position and it carries on cutting from that precise position in the program. Okay, that's one, that's interesting. And, and then there was another one on the, on the tool change. Yeah, so we use, um, even though you've got a 40 tool change, 20 tool carousel, whatever it is, you can use up to 9,999 program tools, which basically means we do know all the uh, 1,000 tools for roughing end mills. So 1060 is a six mil rougher. 2,000 is finishing end mills. So 2060 is a six mil finisher. Uh, ball nose is at 3,000. And the same principle applies for drills and taps. When you're spending millions of pounds with a supplier like that, you must have a lot of confidence in, in putting the business their way. Have you got a history with Herco? Yeah, over progressive years. So we tend to have a, quite an established relationship with a lot of our partners in manufacturing. So whether it's injection molding or CNC, Herco have been a partner for many years with us. Um, and this just was a natural fit to progress into an investment with more CNCs with them. Um, Herco must be some supplier as well to have this amount of machines ready to be delivered as quickly as they did. All happened pretty smoothly? Yeah, really smoothly from initial kind of kickoff of um, ordering machines to their um, on-site service of laying out the machines and where they're going to go, what power we need, what airline we need. All that support was really, really um, key to us to getting these turned on as quick as we could.